So what I have here is my thermostat housing off of my CAT C15. And uh, you see it's in pretty bad shape. Uh, the reason I took it off is that the, uh, there's a gasket that goes on the back here where it goes into the block uh, that failed. It was leaking a bit, so when I took it out, figured I should put new thermostats and everything in it. Uh, new seals it's it's kind of a pain to take out so i figured while it's out i'll get that done now when i took this all apart these bolts came out real hard and they are cruddy and rusted and yeah corroded a bit so i'm going to clean them up a bit so what i have here is a die actually out of a tap and die set that I have here but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and just clean up those threads and I actually already did this once and they were pretty hard to do uh, so it actually cleaned out a lot but I'm going to do that to each of these and after I clean them out this could make it I mean, go in okay, but I'm going to clean them up a little bit. So that's a lot nicer now. Slip down in there. Yeah. So why didn't I just why didn't I just get new bolts? Well, CAD is so specific about things. They always use these tapered ends. This bolt right here, well, it's actually a stud with a nut on the end of it, but the whole thing came out. Uh, is um, twelve dollars and seventy six cents, I believe it was. And there's two of them, so there's twenty four dollars. These bolts were three dollars a piece. And there's two, three, one, two, three, four of them. Them. Now, these are, there's two of them, yeah. The long ones that hold them in, they are like four dollars a piece. So, a lot easier to just clean them up, you know, and, and uh, make them work better. You know, that out. Then I will put them through the parts washer. Everything's going to go through the parts washer. And I'll show you what all I'm going to do here in a bit. All right, we'll clean them up. And then, some of these bolt holes, three of them, one, two, three, hold the housing on. But this holds the outside cover on. So they are, the threads there, a little bit crusty. So... I can find my tool. There it is. This in, I'll just clean up them threads a bit. So I just go down. You know, no need to make it go too hard. But I'll do that to those four bolt holes. And when I'm done with the clean bolts, let's see here, I'll take the bolt that I just cleaned up. 
It'll screw in there real nice. When I actually took these bolts out, this center one, which is one that holds on, holds the whole thing on, uh, I was actually using my Milwaukee, and I had that on number three, and it was just, it was taking forever to get out, and I know it was just because of corrosion and stuff. Now I'm also going to go over and, and I'll uh, use my tap on the three holes on the engine. Uh, it's a little bit tight to see. You see that dirt in there? See, it gets all dirty. See right in there. So that dirt is actually the crud that had come out of there or clean them out. Now we'll do that and we'll get back to we'll get to cleaning this up then. Alright, now what I'm gonna do is clean up this old gasket material. And you see it's getting down in there. You want to keep it from getting down in there, but I'm not worried about it because I'm gonna this is gonna go to the parts washer, it's gonna be cleaned incredibly. So I'm going to do that there, back here, and on that side. Then when I'm done with that, I'm going to clean it all up. Well, that one might be a little bit too hard. But you get the gist. I'm gonna get all that cleaned up. I'm gonna have a nice new surface for it. All right, I got the block all cleaned up. It's ready for the thermostat housing to go back on. But the thermostat housing isn't ready yet because we gotta paint it yellow. Around here, I'll do a couple coats on that. And I'll get it all put back together. It'll be good as new. Alright, well, I gave it a couple days to dry. You can tell it's not a professional paint job or anything. I just paint them. I just like them to look better when they go back on. But that's the back side. Alright, so now what I'm going to do... Is get these seals down in here, which I have already replaced. Um, so, let's put new thermostats in. Alright, there's the part number for the thermostats. I think I paid $67 a piece for them. So though the other thermostats were good, it just seemed better to do it while this was all apart. Alright, so those thermostats are in. Now, here's a new gasket. I know I paid $6 for. I don't know if it really matters which way it goes on. Oh, I guess it has to go on a certain way. Yeah, there we go. All right, guess you can't screw that up. All right. Well, I'll put that on there. Because I cleaned up them holes, everything's going in nice. Remember when you're putting this back together, these are the bolt, these are the holes that hold it together, the bolts. And these are the ones that hold it on the engine. So go in once I get that in there, along with the new gasket and everything.
All right, and there we have it. It's pretty well everything in it's new. You know, repainted it for show. It's not a show engine. I probably would have worked harder on it if it is. And uh, I already showed you where it goes on the engine. Uh, I'm not going to actually, did I forget to tighten that bolt? Here's what I'm talking. So there you have it. Anyway, I'm gonna put it back on the engine. And uh, I'm not going to do a video of putting it back on the engine because it's not very pretty. What I am going to do is put a uh, link down below for Adept Apes video when he did it. And that's an actual real mechanic doing it. So he can show you how he took it off, how he replaces the seal and everything in there. Because I forgot to take video of me replacing the seal. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.